Bob, thank you for taking this time to do this. I know you're busy. We've had so much fun here. Um, I teach kids about money, and I teach parents how to teach their kids about money, as I've mentioned. So I had a, a couple questions, if you don't mind. And the first question is, you have lots of money, and you've learned how to do all these businesses, but how did you learn about money and creating wealth? Just curious. Well, you, uh, you learn about what you're interested in, see? So, um, um, I was with my dad in a, in a store one day, and I saw a copy of the book, uh, Think and Grow Rich, with Napoleon Hill. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I like that, that'd be cool, you know? And so I bought the book, and I read it, and I loved it. And, and then uh, my brother-in-law, who was, died when he was 42, but he was a real estate investor and did really great stuff, and set his family up fabulously. And in his library, there was a copy of William Nickerson's book, How I Turned a Thousand Dollars into a Million Dollars in Real Estate in My Spare Time. And I, I liked that, you know, I read that book. And uh, so, so I, you know, just, it was the books, but it, you know, it comes out of your interest, you know. And some people are not interested. Some people would have never seen that book, either one of those books. It, they're not interested at all. So the, the, I think the secret is for you to follow your passion. And um, my dad never taught me about money. You know, he was an accountant. You know, uh, my grandfather was an entrepreneur. He owned a, a big mercantile store in our little town in southern Alberta, and uh, and he was an entrepreneur. But my dad was raised in the Depression, and he had no interest in whatsoever. You know, it's just like let's get a job, let's be secure, let's hang on to it, and he, and he did. And uh, so it was just something genetic. You know, it's I wanted to be a businessman. I wanted to to be an entrepreneur, and I, and I enjoy money, and I, for a lot of years I was kind of guilty about that. Are you, are you supposed to want money? You know? Oh, okay? Yeah. And, uh, I, and I, but I still wanted it, so I went out and made a lot of it, but still felt partially guilty about it. Like, uh -huh. like do I, you know, should a person want, you know? And the bottom line is, yeah, you should pursue what you're passionate. That's, that's, that's your, your God-given gift. Those are the genes you come with, and the, the spirit you come with. And, so I believe it's, you know, after a lot of soul searching and praying and fasting and thinking about it, uh, it's like this is, this is my purpose in life, to teach people about money. This is what I do. Wow. Um, I love it. I feel I'm connected with my higher power about it. Um, uh, and, and so that's, that's the fundamental goal with your kids. You want to teach them to find what their passions are and then make money from that passion, you know, and then become successful from that passion. Um, so that's the answer to the question. <laughs> I love it. How early do you, I mean, I've worked with a lot of parents, and they, one of the questions that they ask a lot is, how early should I teach the kids? Do you, I mean, there's no pat answer, but do you have a, a Well, you know, you need to them? get this book. It's called The Ultimate Allowance, and <laughs> that will answer the question Thank for you, you. really. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, how to teach your children the wealth rules. They need to grow up happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. Um, I wish I had a chance to do it all over again with my children, so uh, we just, um, I didn't really follow any allowance rules with my kids. Um, they just kind of learned the way we operated, and they just watched the way we acted, and, and they, uh, we just, they kind of learned from osmosis. So should I, would I have taught them differently? Probably. Uh, I would have, uh, I would have given them copies of all of my books, and I would have paid them money to read them. <laughs> tell parents that. I totally tell parents yeah. that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And so and now that obviously they all have copies of my books and uh, mm -hmm. so I'm in and I'm business with my kids now, uh -huh. so we, we work together, they see how I operate. Beautiful. And uh, so that's my very rough answer to that. I, I don't know if I have a real good answer to it. Well setting an example is like the number thing in the book. It's like the number one thing is you gotta set an example. Yeah. So if there is one thing that you wished you had learned mm. earlier about mm. money or, and or wealth creation, what's the one thing that you wish that you learned earlier? I wish I'd understood earlier that wealth is a spiritual concept. The money is spiritual. It is not physical. It's, it's, it's a mindset. It's an attitude. And that it flows, you know, and of course my, I'm going to reveal my spiritual values. You know, I, I believe in a higher power and I believe that that he wants us to be wealthy, and he wants us to be successful and prosperous and happy. And, uh, and, the, very, and, the, and, and the mistakes I made earlier was not believing that the giving was a part of wealth. You know, I, I just spent all the money, 
and it was gone, you know, yeah. and there wasn't any left over. So, I mean, at the, at the bottom of when our bankruptcy happened, and yeah, I had to go through a bankruptcy to learn this lesson. Okay. And it was a very expensive lesson, and it was the most profound lesson of my life. The very, very bottom of there's nothing left, and I, I had the best-selling books, and I totally squandered all of it. It was gone, and, and the avalanche came and wiped out our beautiful home in, uh, yeah. in Sunnet Ski Resort. Little, true story. And uh, almost killed my wife and uh, my son. At the bottom of that, um, you know, I really basically said, uh, how do I get out of this, God? I mean, yeah. uh, I'm never going to get out of this alone. And uh, somebody challenged me, the bottom of that bankruptcy, to be a giver. I don't have any money to give. Uh, yes, you do. You got, you make $1,000 a week, you know, you can give 10% of it. You make $400 a week, you can give 10% of it. And it was a very counterintuitive thing for me. But I was so humble, because I'd been completely wiped out, that I said, okay, I will be a giver from this week forward. I will never go a week without giving. You know, I'll find somebody who needs it more than I do. I'll, you know, I'll tithe my church. I'll, I, I give to charities that I believe in. I'll, and um, it was a, almost miraculous. Like if I can, it's just, uh, I wish I'd learned this earlier without such an expensive lesson. But uh, you know, the very next week, it seemed like there was just a little bit more. And I, I'd given away, and yet there seemed to be, I, the 90% that was left was more than the 100% I used to have. And then so I, my, my tithing, my giving, you know, started going up and week after week after week after week. I mean, I really can point to that one week when it started. And I'm not bragging about what I give, that's not the point. I'm just saying that, that, that God is a giver and he, he were his children. And it's one of the things that comes natural to us if we'll just trust that. You just have to give, you have to. And um, that was a very profound, deep, deep, unbelievably powerful, it's 